the weirdest thing someone ever gave me for tattooing them was nothing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, man. Um. I'm I've never taken a crazy gift. A crazy gift a client has trying to give me with some ass and some head. And I was <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm cool. <laughs> I, I like my money more, so. An assortment of weed? Gotten drugs before, but that's not necessarily a weird one. Drugs. <laughs> I don't know if we could say that. I got mushrooms as a tip once. That was great. <laughs> um. That's a good ass question. <laughs> it's slightly making me hot. Oh, um, some mushrooms, some psychedelic mushrooms. I still got them. I, I I haven't had the boss to really take them. Yeah, and that's not even like that's like encourage. I'm like, all right, fine, I'll take your weed. I guess fine. I and mean, honestly, it, it, it may end in like someone like. In I think I've had uh, quite a few clients bringing mushrooms lately, and that's sick. Yeah, magic mushrooms as a as a tip. I was like, Shit. you're gifting something that is, uh, you know, you can't replace that. That was really special. I was like, hey, thanks, man. Mushrooms aren't, mushrooms aren't a drug. They're a therapeutic tool. <laughs> okay, settle down, Colorado. Here, here's some weed. It's like, I don't smoke weed, dude. What the hell am I going to do with this? <laughs> what? what? Am I going to give it to my landlord? Come on. The most f***ed up gift somebody gave me was an edible. <laughs> Bro, I ate, my client made gummy bear edibles, and I took the whole gummy bear, because he didn't give me the specifications on the milligram, <laughs> like the THC, none of that. Bro, I was so high after I took that gummy bear, I thought I was dead. I was, I was, I was like, I thought I was dead because I was having an out-of-body experience. I'm like, I must be dead right now. Let me go to another human and see if they can see me. So I went downstairs to my mom and she spoke to me. So now I know I'm not dead. So I had to like, I just started having conversations with her and then I just started missing flashes of my life. We were like talking in the kitchen and then out of nowhere I blinked and nobody was downstairs with me and all the lights were off. And I'm like, so what the f just happened from us having a conversation until now? So the most craziest gift I got was that gummy bear. That changed my life. And I never will take an edible <laughs> ever again. Don't don't tip me heroin. I'd rather not. Thank you. I'm gonna I'm gonna take this as an opportunity to tell clients, you know, I think it's really nice that, you know, they always want to bring things like, oh, here's some cupcakes, here's some cookies, here's some it's always sweets and like that's nice, but I'm telling you, uh, as the tattoo artist who sits in a shop all day and they're always throwing cookies at us, it would not murder us if you just brought us some like veggie trays or like something savory lunchables would be fine you know um i just can't do that many cupcakes man oh i once got a real human butt it's just just the bone so it wasn't like here's a plastic bag with somebody i picked up on the way here it's more like here's a human foot that's been decreased and nicely prepared, which still is really creepy, but it was super cool. Do you have it like on display somewhere? Um, it's in the cabinet there. A glass eye from some one who had lost their eye that he had then gotten. That was like a medically, I don't know if they would use it the same way now, but he gave me like a really beautiful little like stone box and it had this glass eyeball in it, prosthetic eye, so. It's weird, but I really liked it, so I, I still have it on my station. Like a pocket knife, it's like a retractable pocket knife and actually comes out, shoots out, shoots back in. Uh, it's like an $800 knife and the guy's like, hey man, here's a tip and he gave it to me. I'm like, hey, is there any bodies into this? Because I don't want to accept it if it's like, no, it's not, it's brand new. But I, I looked at it and I cleaned it and I cleaned the fingerprint just in case. I mean, me and my assistant got a dildo each one time from my client because <laughs> she worked in a sex shop and she was like, this is the latest invention. And I guess this isn't weird, this isn't weird, but I guess the, the person who, who's done it like invited me like like on like a, a, 
a day, and I, you know, it's just like it's like weird. It's like that wasn't that wasn't what I thought this was going, but like it like ended with like them trying. I don't know. It's just weird. It's just weird. I'll I'll, it, I, 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 I'll, I'll take it as maybe them trying to like um, tip me or make 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 the the experience better for me, but it, it wasn't like I get nervous in situations like that. <laughs> I have it. I have it. Give me a second. I just saw it yesterday. Literally, as I was setting up my tattoo station yesterday, I seen that. Okay. So, the most interesting gift I've ever received was from a guy named Dave. And he gave me this autographed picture of Kat Von D. <laughs> I, I <laughs> Dude, he was a very unique guy. He wrote songs and movies and like really weird shit. Like he was into weird shit. And he was a really nice guy, but he was a really weird guy. And he would just like get these things off of eBay that people signed and give them to me and my artists as tips. And it was like, what? And so like, I had this big hatred for Kat Von D for many, many years <laughs> because everybody would come in and be like, you know who does really great portraits? That Kat Von D girl. And I'd be like, oh, don't talk about me like that. You're saying I can't do good portraits, right? So I would take it personally. <laughs> so what I did to make this silly gift actually something that like made sense, I hung it in my station for years. Like it's been hung in my station for like 10 years now. And it was my way of making peace with something I hated to get over my petty bullshit. And now I no longer hate Kat Von D because I realized I was a fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> I got a self portrait painting um, of myself and uh, it wasn't that great. And I mean, bless her heart. Cause it was, I mean, she put a lot of time into it and I think she was expecting me to hang it up in my shop and it's, um, still sitting there, so I don't know what to do with it. So um, you can have it if you if you'd like it. It just looks creepy, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It just looks, yeah. That's something you want to policy too. Yeah, yeah. But but my clients are pretty cool. They always bring me cool like gifts and chocolates and you know mm -hmm. people love, know I love chocolate. People know I love Gucci, so I always bring in cool stuff. One gift that I got really happy about was when I was in Hawaii and I was tattooing this beautiful, gorgeous woman and. She knew that I had this little Gucci bag, so she had brought the same matching Gucci flip-flops just matching my bag to me, just as a tip, and I thought I was so cute and thoughtful. <laughs> I've gotten a few dolls of myself. There, There's that. Um, but I, again, it's really hard for me to judge weirdness comparatively. Like, is, is it wrong? to sit in front of your screen and delicately chisel out the features of somebody that you enjoy, just painstakingly sweating and grimacing and worrying that, oh God, is that really how far her nose is from her mouth? And then to present that tiny effigy to the person and say, here, like God, I've birthed you take this take this and hold it and it'll be like holding yourself if that's weird then i don't want to be normal the weirdest thing i ever received was a fruit basket and and i started getting some admirers that would send uh fruit baskets and purple roses with little black ribbons on it and they would leave it you know uh, with the front and not really say who they were but they would just leave little trinkets tokens of appreciation uh, which uh, kind of felt uh, a little interesting. I don't know it's if uh, I, I appreciated it. The fruit was delicious, but uh, it kind of felt like slightly like almost stalkerish because I didn't know who they were. <laughs> so, you have, were you a little worried about eating the fruit? You know, I, 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 wasn't, I wasn't really concerned. I was kind of hungry and it, it looked delicious. <laughs> it looked absolutely delicious, so I went for it. You know, and I shared it with the whole shop. So luckily I shared it first and then went after it. No, I'm just <laughs> It is insane how often this answer has been drugs. <laughs> yeah, it's drugs all the time. It's like That's all we get. <laughs> I expected, you know, some drugs, 
but it's uh, a lot of drugs. Ah, uh, it's always drugs. Drugs, drugs, drugs. 